Jesus is heir and creator. Hebrews chapter 1 in verse 1 God who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets verse 2 has in these last days spoken to us by his son whom he has appointed heir of all things through whom also he made the worlds. Jesus is appointed as heir over all things. He being the firstborn as Colossians chapter 1 and verse 15 reveals to us has been given all things under his control. So he is sovereign. He is a God of authority. Let's read Colossians chapter 1 and verse 15. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. Even as we consider the things around us, the powers around us, and today, you know, as we look at our own lives, uh, we can rest assured that the Lord Jesus is heir over everything. There is no power, there is no authority which is above Him. And so He is the Lord of hosts who is able to speak a word of victory into our lives. He is heir over all things, which means that everything that has been created has been handed over to Him and it belongs to Him and we are in His care. We have been created for Him and we're also told here that He has a part to play in creation. While the Father is called as the Creator and the Holy Spirit you know, who was hovering upon the waters is also a Spirit who creates, the Lord Jesus is very much a Creator. So the second person of the Trinity, the Lord Jesus, is also a creator. And today as we consider the Lord Jesus who has been placed uh, over all things and everything has been submitted to him and he has also participated in the creation of all things. You now the only response our hearts can have is to bow before him and worship him and adore him. You know, every time God reveals his person to us, our uh, right response is to bow down and worship the Lord Jesus. So let's take some time to worship him today. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you have been appointed heir and Lord, there is nothing uh, in our lives, nothing that concerns us, O oh God, which is outside your purview, God, which is outside your control, which is outside your boundary. And so, God, we rest assured, O oh God, in your love for us. And God, we have been created for you. We offer ourselves, O oh God, to worship you and to honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.